I know that's not the missing bitch's fucking grave. <laughs> Get a shotgun at this point, honestly. You're fucking telling me. Second Amendment right, baby. I'm gonna get jump scared. I'm gonna get jump scared. No, uh, light on, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Run inside. Dude, my fucking- I'm getting goosebumps. I stink of sweat, let's take a bath before I go to sleep. Um, bitch, the fuck? Uh, we need to move into a fucking goddamn fuck. We need to be in Fort Knox right now. If that happened to me, I'd stab him, because we can't have guns. <laughs> and accidentally kill him, I'd go to jail for murder. The rules here are stupid. Where's the bathroom? Right here. Alright. Alright, chat. All the doors are locked. We're fine. They apprehended the guy. We should be good. Finally, a moment of peace in my fucking father's 19th century house. Why would that stranger go so far from me? Whatever, it's over now. That's what I like to hear. Let's play some... Did someone just take a fucking photo? You can only inflict the same amount of damage to an intruder as they do to you. That's fucking stupid. Um, chat. Someone just took a fucking photo of me in the bathtub. My poorly animated fucking Laura Croft titties just got exposed. That door's locked. That door's locked. Okay. One boy definitely went through one of my windows. What's that fucking door? Go to bed? You can only. Oh, God. Oh my goodness gracious almighty fucking Christ! Let's see. Hold on. Just let me go to sleep now that I heard someone take a picture of me in the bath. <laughs> That's what I was. Why am I investigating the noise? Storage room. Why am I investigating this? Fuck my ass. Ah! Uh, I don't know if that was a nightmare. I think I've been fucking finagled with. There's this horror game that came out that you get to be the killer and the victim. Probably call to check how Liam is doing. What? Why am I checking my ex? The guy broke into my apartment. Begin with is because I broke up with him. It's all my fault. If I had just stayed with Liam, he would have kept me safe. Bitch, are you fucking stupid? Ooh, there's a game like that? Put in recommendations? Okay, guys, we need to take a sip. Right now. Nutriment, sponsor me. Thank you.
No, of course not. What am I thinking? Let's put my mind on something else. But first, let's make sure the house is empty. I don't feel safe. Oh, yeah, bitch. We are fucking Rainbow Six searching this house. Nothing. Nothing. He's probably the one trying to kill her. Literally, it's the same dude that was trying to riz me up predator style. Okay. Doritos chips. I will put it in recommended. Thank you. Check this fucking stupid ass room. Something looks off about that book. Excuse me? History of art. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Why would you want to leave me? I've done nothing but good to you. Whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. You are never leaving me again. Page 17, 2013. Number 793, a sudden disappearance. Ashley's whereabouts unknown. Holy fucking shit. Where she was last seen is the house that I'm fucking in. This game is cool. This is actually the best game we played all fucking night. But what the fuck is this? Look, honey, we made the news pretty cool, right? Oh my god, you're a crazy bitch. <laughs> you're a crazy ass bitch. It's locked. Well, I'm glad it's locked. Okay. So, what the fuck are we doing? What about the notes on the on the wall? <gasps> I didn't even see these. I can't replace you, Ashley. There's no one as, that is as special as you. Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. Mommy? My fault? How is it my fault? How is it? Sorry, all caps. How is it my fault? I didn't take it to the end. Like, I want to end like this. You left me with no other options. What the fuck did I do? How am I gonna live without you? What is the point of all this? I'm tied to a dead person. I'd do anything to get you back. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. She looks like you. Hold up, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold the fuck up. Am I dreaming I swear as you? She looks just like you. Have you come back to me 10 years later? Um, motherfucker, this shit's from fucking 10 years ago. Oh my god. She is just as beautiful as you were. She has to become mine. She will no, no matter what. Can't let her run away from me like you once did. Oh, bitch. It's probably about time I talked to Grandpa about what's going on here. This is crazy. Yeah, Grandpa, would you like to explain this shit? He's gonna capture you. I think you're the same girl. Grandpa, are you coming? Are you there? Has something happened? A lot has been happening. I've received creepy letters in the following day. Someone I don't think is Liam. Help police and they arrested the suspicion for in the house. But when I thought it was all over, I found a strange room in your house that contained some psychotic things, to say the least. What? This is insane. Only the letters in the hidden room. But for 10 years, I've never seen that. <gasps> what if the grandpa is the fucking. Oh, oh my god. Cutting this business for short, coming home ASAP. I can't stand not being able to help you. I like to think they arrested him, but what if they didn't? What if he's still around? What if they arrested someone who got set up? It makes me so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember about the person you bought this place from? I remember that his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. It was the talk of the town for quite a while. And his name was... Okay. My phone just died. My phone just died. Apparently we don't charge our phones at night. Let's go find a flashlight in case we need one later. Oh, God. 
Oh my god, I have to go to the basement. Oh, it's still bright out. It's actually a good thing. Okay, chat, we're not as scared because it's bright out. Locking these bitches up. Four knocks. You're fucked. I'm cooked. <laughs> I'm literally fucking cooked. Get that flashlight, you know what I'm saying? Ah, it's a bird! It's a fucking bird. A bird just got me. I just bit the shit out of my tongue. <laughs> Bro, you're cooked and hard. You're fucking insane, bud. I should search for weapons just in case and start by looking through Grandpa's office upstairs. That's the smartest thing she's ever said this whole entire time! Okay, but if I saw that, I'd leave the house right away. Like, what? Bruh, you're co you cooking hard. Like, be so fucking for real. I just had a heart attack, so... <laughs> Yeah, and I just choked up my fucking nutriment. Nutriment sponsor me. Let's just go into the fucking room. Let's see what he's got. He's got a broken fucking chair. How does my grandpa not know that there's uh, shit going on in his fucking house? Find a weapon. How the fuck am I supposed to find a weapon in this? Is this not his fucking office? Okay, first off, I really want to know what's going on with this. Okay, guys. So, we're just going to act like there's not a fucking key in the drawer? It's Grandpa. Grandpa's the fucking Rizzler. Oh, okay, apparently I'm stupid. Apparently my character doesn't understand that he has to... Bags of chips. There's nothing of use here. Brother, there is a fucking key here. Uh, this bitch is so fucking stupid. It won't let me take the key. That is not Grandpa. Of course, your first reaction is that has to be Grandpa. But let's, find, let's just see if we can find something first. Gun. Gun. Weapon. Shotgun. Saw. Fucking Razorback fucking tortoise. Something, buddy. Give me something. That's definitely not my grandfather, eh? That motherfucker is not really. Okay, motherfucker. I got a cross. No fucking weapons. Shut this fucking door, dude. Oh. My Fuck! Razorback tortoise. It's exact. Hi, sorry if I scared you. I just had to come clean about something. This is actually so relatable. Of course you did. You're a creepier creep that talked to me earlier outside of the community store. What do you want to complain about? Mmm. I know it was creepy, but it was my idea. Liam told me to do it in hopes that you would take him back to feel safe again. Chat, thank God I said no. I was supposed to take it a step further now, but I couldn't do it. I felt too sorry for you. It all makes a lot of sense now. Thank you for telling me. I feel safe around you. Can you please leave now? Yes, of course. I'm sorry again. Did homeboy just come clean? Okay, my fucking heart is in my asshole. <laughs> Where's your asshole and your heart? <laughs> me? night already yeah bitch it's night already we need to find a gun we are not we need a weapon chat we need a fucking weapon i'm glad it's still locked but we need oh let's scare the fuck out of me dude tap him up if you got him if you don't smoke him good for you we need a weapon like, like, a big gun type shit. Oh 
Like, brother, you're telling me I can't take a fucking fork off the table at least? <laughs> I know you need it. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's see if we can take this key now. No. Can't even take a fucking key. You're telling me my grandpa doesn't have any guns but lives in a house that's built before fucking Anne Frank? I mean, guys, come on. This house has to be at least 100 years old. Wait. Huh? I did not hear that. Go to bed, it says. You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work. Your phone is dead. The police think they got the person behind this, and you don't know where I am. Chat, I'm fucking cooked. <laughs> Arturo, buddy, welcome in your high as fuck. Goddamn. Okay, I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so cooked. I'm so cooked. I'm so cooked. Open the door. I'm so cooked. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, it's just a, it's just a quack. I'm so fucking cooked. I'm so almighty fucking cooked, buddy. I am fucking roast beef on a fucking. <sighs> Chat. You ever cooked a crock pot for like fucking ten hours? Yeah, I'm that cooked. I think I'm going the wrong way. Follow other path. Oh, fuck me. I was supposed to go that way. Oh, I'm fucking cooked. Oh, oh, I'm so cooked. Oh, I'm I'm so beyond cooked. Buddy, Hello, I'm, motherfucker. Oh, hi there. Dude, I'm fucking stir fry. It's definitely Liam's car. Oh, I am fucked in the ass. Oh, what is that? No. Oh, the game is not even letting me produce anything beyond this fucking point. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, chat, I am, I'm fucking, oh, my God. I'm the stir fry at a hibachi restaurant, kind of cooked. Why is the fucking Vietnam tunnels underneath this fucking home? Why is Liam here? Blood? Oh, God damn it! Chad, do you see that? That's Liam. What happened to you? Why would someone do this to you? No. Bro, my ex is dead. That's the best news I've seen this entire game. Working in the mines. She is my. Oh my god. I'm about to get exposed on Twitter. Uh <laughs> Fuck a Rooney. And only my. Brother, if I turn around and something pops up at me. Press shift to sprint. Oh, 
I'm getting told to do this right now. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't even look back. Don't even look back. I'm fucking horrified. Why does this tunnel feel longer? Okay, let's just keep it going. Get the fuck out of here. Get to Liam's car. Okay, we know that's Liam's car. Oh my god. Oh my god, am I supposed to go further? Oh my god! Uh, son of a bitch. I'm in. Oh my fucking god. Brother, my ex crazy ass boyfriend is dead. That's like the only relief in this game. I know that's not the missing bitch's fucking grave. I think these are Ashley's remain. What a sick and twisted individual or husband. I'm so cooked. I can't even go up there. Oh, I'm so cooked. No! Who are you? The cashier! Time to go pay for it now. Yes. Is that all? Yes. All right, total is $22.50. Also, I can tell you a new area. How long are you staying for? No problem. I'm not sure yet. Not too long, I would assume. All right, have a good day and here are your groceries. Thanks, you too. The cashier! The motherfucker that checked me out and let me purchase a carton of milk? No way. I need you now, my new Ashley. Holy mother of God. Imagine he just had a huge dick. Wow, that's fucking skeptical. God, uh, it's, it's, it's the goddamn cashier. I would have never expected it. Bravo. And he looks like a hippie. So I... It was... You who has been sending the letters. I know it looks similar to ex-wife, but that doesn't mean I can replace her. Brother, there's no way I can just be another coffin in this basement. I'm fucking booking. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you look is more than enough. Come here, I've been waiting so long for this. I have to run before it's too late. Brother, brother, bitch, use those fucking legs. The man running the convenience store. I hear cop cars. Homeboy's right behind me, isn't he? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 sweetheart. Oh. Hey, yo, they got the SWAT team outside. That's crazy. Never would have expected it. The police arrive on the scene just in time, thanks to Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa came in clutch? And I'm the one that fucking accused him? He hurried back home after the abrupt ending to Kate's phone call with him. When he arrived home, he realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. He got a sinking gut feeling that the worst might have happened. He called the police instantly and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt when the, after the news was nothing was like nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved? Question mark. The man in the white van said that his reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger following her home from the store. Of course the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else was there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he had actually been telling the truth. He was released the same day. Liam's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. The psychopath who killed his ex-wife Ashley, Liam, and almost Kate ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult. At night, she often hears those daunting knocks on her bedroom door, disturbing her attempts to sleep. 
throughout every day. I'm wrestling with words right now. She finds herself shaking behind and scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. I right, story boy, move on. Thanks for playing. A horror game made by solo developer Corvin Rular. Appreciate everybody that was uh, watching on the YouTube, watching this video after the fact. Uh, if you love and support the way I stream and I make videos, do me a favor and like and subscribe. Make sure y'all have a great rest of your day. See ya. No, no, no.